So, real quick before the video starts, if you guys enjoy it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more like it, subscribe. I will be covering the new Easter content, the new superstitious items, the rest of the reincarnation content. So if you want to see all of that good juicy stuff, then subscribe. That being said, today I'm going to be talking about the Easter event and talking about how to get all of the different egg items. I'll be showing you all of the ways to get them, the best ways to do it. Now that being said, there are actually only two quest-based eggs that you can get. There are two that you have to do very specific tasks for, you gotta go out of your way for them. But most of them do just spawn around the map. So I'll go ahead and talk about those first. Now there are two different types of eggs that you'll see spawning around. There are the normal smaller eggs that you can walk up to, you can click them, they'll give you stuff like UC, Clover, certain items. And these are pretty good to go for, you can get some of the older Easter items, usually it's mostly decorations and stuff, but you can get the excellent upgrader, which is this guy right here. It's actually a really strong upgrader if you can get it. It may not look it, but it's a times two and it's super super small, so it's just a nice little useful item. And then you can get stuff like walls and all that, just random decorations, conveyors and things from them. So I definitely recommend going for those, but then the main eggs that you're worried about spawning in are the item eggs, and you can tell the difference because the item eggs are a lot bigger, they're a lot more detailed, they're the official Roblox eggs. So if you know the egg hunts, if you remember the eggs, then you'll recognize them right away. And they usually tend to spawn in pretty specific areas. They'll spawn around the outskirts, they have spawns in this forest, and near the middle of the map. I'm not going to show you every spawn, I don't know every spawn, but I will give you a little fly around and show you some of the locations. I know this one has a spawn, there's some next to the crystals over here as well, I believe there's some just on the grass on the edge of the beach over here. Like I said, there's some in this forest, I know that one can spawn by the gate, there are also spawns down in here. There's one right in this little corner here, and then if you come up here, this little rock pile right in the middle has some spawns. And you may have noticed this guy will come back to you in a second, but if we head out of this forest, we just keep flying this way. I haven't seen many spawn over in this area. I believe they can. I'm sure they can. It's still worth checking. I know one has a spawn at this tree. You can find some at this leaderboard area right back here. Next to the tower as well, right up here. A few spawns over here next to the evil artist doge. And this area is where you're going to find a lot of the smaller eggs. They all tend to fall on this side of the map. For whatever reason, they all just kind of clump together. So you should have better luck looking over in this general area. And then there's a few over here as well. I'm sure I missed plenty of spawns. I'm sure... I'm not showing them in too great of detail, but you'll definitely you'll definitely have an easy time of finding them if you just kind of just kind of fly around the outskirts and search for them. It definitely helps to have champion infuser as well that makes traveling and looking for them a lot easier. But just check near trees, check near crystals, check in the middle of the map, and you'll you'll pick up on the spawn locations and where they can be and all that pretty quickly. You'll get kind of a rhythm for it. Oh, and look at that! I've got some egg spawns now, so you can see all of the eggs kind of just tend to fall on this side of the map in this area. These guys just give you. Little extras, little little nice small rewards that you can get. Just come collect them. And I'm gonna look around and see if I can find a new item. They do also spawn in VIP servers. I'm in a VIP server solo. And yeah, here's one right here, right by the crystals. I already have that one, so I can't get it. But you can see they just spawn kind of in that area. You can just fly around. Here's one. I already... I don't actually have that one, actually. I got the eye egg, and that's what it looks like. You just walk up, click it. Gives you a nice little animation, and then gives you the egg. And real quickly, I'm gonna see if I can find any more. And you can see my method for finding them. I just kind of fly around, go around the outskirts of the island. And look at that, you can barely see it, but there's an egg in that corner there. I already have it, so I can't take it, but it spawned there. And it's important to mention that with getting these eggs, it is down to RNG. Sometimes you'll look around and you'll just not find any eggs that happens. You just gotta keep on. You just gotta keep on it and keep looking around whenever they newly respawn. You'll be able to find them eventually. Sometimes things will kind of slow down though. And I think I pretty much cleared it out. I will go ahead and show the process of actually getting a new egg as well. Since I managed to grab myself one that I didn't have. So essentially you just go to the craftsman, you go to the Easter event, and then you can scroll through here. Look for the egg that you have. It is also important to note that you do have to be a certain life to actually claim some of them. Now I believe it doesn't actually matter if you're that life when you get it, you still get the egg and then you can claim them once you hit the life that you need. And once you get it, you just click the button and then it gives you the reward. And it's kind of convenient that I ended up in here because one of the special quest eggs is up in the tower. You just come up here and then there's a chest that you can open and then it will teleport you to the void maze and you can get the Egg of Illusion. And now once we make it in here, there's a pretty simple method of actually getting all the way to the Egg of Illusion. And it also is important to mention that this area, there is going to be Daigle following you around. So there's like little mini jump scares where, where your screen will shake, and it'll kind of be spooky and all that. Just don't worry about that. The method for this, you just hug right. Hug the right wall as much as you can. You'll run into dead ends, but you just gotta backtrack and then go the other way. See, like, here, dead end, so I just go this way. And then you gotta, you gotta move with some speed as well. Once you get in here, you just wanna start going. Because you don't have a whole lot of time on the timer. 
see, just like that, you get like the little screen shake and then the little mini jump scare. It can be kind of spooky, but you just gotta keep moving and not worry about that. Do we run into a dead end here, dead end here? Then we just go this way and we keep just going right. And that's the, that's essentially just the best way to get there. Wherever there's a path that you can keep going, keep going. If you have to turn left, then you do, but like right here, I have to turn left, so I go. And you just hug right, and you should be able to get your way there. It might take multiple attempts. It took me two attempts to actually get it. I couldn't... I, I got myself lost a few times. I also really like the ambience here, just the void maze music. I'm hoping on this run through I can actually find it, just so I can show you guys where it is. And yeah, like I said, if you run into dead ends, then just turn back... Try and go a different way until you actually find a scene. I'm not sure if I'm going to have time on this run to actually get there. We'll have to see. But I don't think it really matters. The The whole point of this is just hold right and then you'll get there. Yeah, see, here we go. I found it. There we go. Egg of Illusion. Just hold right and then you got it. And then once you get it, you can go ahead and just leave. I, I believe it teleports you back. I don't remember for sure. You can just leave and then move on. And once you're back into Miner's Haven, just talk to the craftsman, get it like you would any other egg. And now there's actually only one more proper quest egg that you can get. There is one other special egg that I will talk about how to get in a second after this, but the other special egg is down here by John Doe, and you actually have to do the trial again, and you get the egg. You can see he's got the egg next to him. You can't actually take that. You have to teleport into the arena. And then once you're here, it's a little bit different. I'm not going to go through step by step each wave. I will talk about the boss fight a little bit, but the, the sort of principles for this are the same as they originally were so if you saw my other video then this pretty much holds true here you just kind of want to back up skirt the zombies try and hit where you can't be hit i'm doing not a very good job of demonstrating it is a little bit tougher here too as whamby start on the first wave which is a little bit spooky but yeah i'm not going to go into too much detail about the waves i'll come back once i get to the boss fight oh yeah another thing to mention that i want to get to before the boss fight starts is that you have three lives in this just like you do in the original john doe trials so you want to try and save him for once you get to the actual boss fight at the end. Try and try and hold on to your lives as best as you can. All right, so now that we're on wave six, this is where the boss fight starts, and you have to fight. Show you true power. Did not know he had that voice line. That's actually kind of cool. But yeah, you got to fight Mr. John Doe himself now, and it's a, actually a little bit of a challenging boss fight. The best strategy that I found is just kind of kind of get up on him, start jumping and circling him. He'll have he has a few attacks. He kind of telegraphs them. You can see there he like telegraphs where those are gonna land. You want to use the Venom Shank as well, of course. And I found that just kind of kind of jumping around, circling him like this is the best way to deal damage. He can do a lot of damage, too. He can kind of hurt. Like, you can see, I'm kind of, I'm real low now all of a sudden. But I've got his health way down, so even though I died here, you get three lives. So you can definitely use that to your advantage. Now that we're back, we can do kind of the same thing. And also, once he does that attack, he's stuck for a second. So you really want to take advantage of that. And just like that, you can take him down. Not too bad at all. And then it teleports you back to the game once you're done. All right, now that you're back, once you get that one, you can claim it the same way as the others. So those are the two main quest eggs and how to actually do them. But there is one other egg that's unobtainable by normal means, and that is the egg field, which is the far guild egg, little, little cat egg, little, little kitten, you know? And this egg, I really don't have too many tips for to actually get your hands on it because you need to run into a certain person with a launcher. If you know the Roblox official egg hunts, then you'll be familiar with this. It's essentially the admin egg of this event. You need to run into certain people. Certain submitters have it, and then anyone higher, like Foxy Talon, is going to have it. So that one you just kind of need to get lucky for, unfortunately. You might be able to talk to some of them, get in contact with a submitter, ask for the egg or something. It is kind of an annoying one to get, unfortunately. I did get it because Ox Knight, one of my friends, has the launcher, so he gave it to me. But this one is kind of just an annoying one to get, so... I did want to mention it here at the end, but yeah, that is all of the eggs. That's kind of the rundown, the two quest eggs and how to do them best. And then some of the spawns and all that for, for the other eggs that you can get. And once I get all of them, hopefully I'll get them soon, I will be making a review video covering all of them. Probably going to be a pretty long video considering there is 24 different items to review. But yeah, I'll also be talking about the new superstitious items as well, along with the buffs. I'll be covering those, yada yada. Hope you found this video useful, hope you enjoyed it, hope you're able to get all of the eggs and all that. I'm going to stop rambling. Thank you everyone for watching. Peace!